Though you may be far from home I know you'll never be alone Cause a family is all you need Even if it's just you and me Hi there, this time I just want to share with you another GIMP tutorial and as you can see here my GIMP is not working on Vista again and uh, I had fixed my problem. Anyway, for all those who had requested for GIMP videos, um, watch out for your videos, I'll be uploading them soon. For the meantime, I'll be showing you another GIMP tutorial and this is a very helpful uh, tutorial about how to set focus on certain parts of your image. So let's say you have your photo taken and it's a bit crowded you want yourselves to be noticed um, immediately you can actually blur the background or the rest of the image except yourself and boom you now set the focus on yourself and the rest out of focus so it's a good way to let people know what you want them to see in a particular image so in this um, example I'll be using the Philippine Eagle so this is the Philippine Eagle and I want it to be noticeable and to be set to focus the rest I want to blur so we can do that with GIMP which is a freeware program very much like Photoshop and let's get started so first off is we go to the paths tool and we basically create a path around our image or the part of the image we want to focus on so I'm just going to do this quickly you could do this carefully guys I'm just doing a demonstration so I'll just roughly do it like so there you go so if you're uh, satisfied with your outline you go here and click selection from path like so now you will see um, dash lines around your image and a quick zoom control then your scroll wheel or your minus and plus keys on your keyboard like so so as you can see here certain parts of the background are still included in my selection and some of the parts of the bird that I want to show is um, not included so we could do something about that so there's an easier way to do that all we need to do is toggle quick mask and it's a square button here it's a small square button you click that and it will give you this red background or a red mask over our image except for the image that we want so this, the rest of the parts of the image are now covered with red mask and we can actually um, quickly identify the parts of the image that we want from those that we don't want. So we go to our brush and then um, make sure it's black. Okay, this will color all the parts that we don't want. So we can scale the brush for accuracy, like so. So take your time in doing this guys, I'm just doing this very quickly. And as you can see here, um, part of the feet of the bird is covered with red. So you can fix that by changing the black foreground to white and the same technique, brush it. So we can um, restore it like so. So it's just a way of coloring your image, the one that you want and don't want to be focused on, like so. And so just to So. 
Okay, so if you're satisfied with what you did, so this is just a rough demonstration. We just click the toggle mask or toggle quick mask again. And then you'll see the dash lines or the dotted lines once more. I'm just going to zoom out. Okay, now we go to select and then hit invert. Okay, then we go to filters and go to blur and Gaussian blur. You can use blur if you want to, but I'll use Gaussian blur. I'll set it to 5, 5 by 5, and OK. Boom. Now we go to select, hit none, and there's our image. So basically what we did is to set the focus on the particular part of the image that we want to be noticed immediately and set the rest um, blurred. So there you go. So we just save this. Let's say eagle eagle.jpg save it to our desktop okay there's our image so we just um, basically bring out whatever it is that we want to be noticed from our picture so there you go so it's just a quick demonstration for you so thanks for watching so more and more videos to come to all my subscribers I appreciate the sub guys for all your requests and suggestions just a shout for your videos I'll be uploading them soon check out my YouTube partners they're on my channel as always just have fun see ya